Well, welcome back. New allegations against Harvey Weinstein to report an unnamed actress filing a lawsuit against him and his former studio for sexual assault that allegedly took place in 2015 and 16. More than 50 women have spoken out against the disgraced movie mogul. Want to talk more about that as well as other things with Gene Simmons right now. He's the co-founder of KISS, author of On Power, My Journey Through Corridors of Power and How You Can Get More Power. Gene, great to see you. Thank you, you so much for joining Marie, us. Marie, I'm glad you pointed it out. I do, in fact, own the trademark and have for 28 years. You're looking at it. America yeah. the Beautiful. Well, uh, and, and it's a money bag. Yes. I like only, it. But only I own it. Yes, I can stop Monopoly, too. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> but you, your question was. You are so involved in so many businesses. I mean, you and your wife, also Shannon Tweed, have had an inside look on what goes on in the entertainment industry for years. So that's why we wanted to start here, really, for decades. What, what do you make of all of these allegations against Harvey Weinstein? And tell us, well, get, didn't, pull the curtain back for us. Uh, you know, it's, uh, you know that the lunatics have taken over the insane asylum when uh, respected business news entities like yourself ask guys that look like me that stick their tongues out and own money bag logos <laughs> what I think about Harvey Weinstein. Okay, but, you know, truthfully No, speaking, seriously, come on. But I am. I'm a powerful and attractive man, and what I'm about to say is deadly serious. Men are jackasses. And uh, from the time we're young, we have testosterone. I'm not validating it or defending it. Guys need to be trained from, from their very, very young ages by their mothers and by their loved ones to understand that half the world's population are female and they need to be treated with respect. Yeah, we don't get the training, and that's not a defense, Harvey and, and Cosby and anybody who may have allegedly done any of those things should go down all the way to hell so they can become somebody's girlfriend. I'm just kidding. It's just a joke. <laughs> but uh, women, really, en masse, should rise up. The only way you got the vote is not because men want to share it with you. It's because you started marching and demanded it. You will only get the respect you demand. Our African-American brothers and sisters only got, you know, the respect, whatever they've got so far, by marching and taking charge of it. And guys like Harvey need to be held accountable yeah. if proven guilty in a court of law, no matter what the court of public opinion says, because Playboy wound up paying many millions of dollars for alleged rapes and blah, 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 mm. which wound up to be untrue. So what I don't like is that anybody can make a public statement and then people, people join in. It's not the court. In England, by the way, you're not allowed to do that. Whatever is going on in court is held private until the verdict by your peers. Gene, I, I, I want to turn over to your book. Uh, it's on it's, power. You mean available on power? Today yes. From uh, Harper Collins. Yes, and I think it's pretty interesting. You you give a lot of advice, but one of the strongest, most poignant one I think that people should take away is life is not fair, and the world does not care about you. And I think that's I an important that. point I for people to succeed. I mean, let, let's it's let's grow up for a second. You know, really, if I didn't exist today, it would be a much sadder world, but it would exist. It would go on very easily, not without Maria, but you especially. It, it could go on <laughs> very easily without you because no one is indispensable. It's a double negative. It sort of means, see what I did there? I yeah. taught sixth grade in Spanish Harlem. It sort of means none of us are important. So the only people that are important are the people that make themselves important. It is your inferred fiduciary duty to learn language skills, people skills. That means learn English. Yes, all you immigrants. I am one. I wasn't born here. English was my fourth language. Is that right? Fourth I'm here language? to tell to Doc Besser and Maderur on your council at Maderur Sagbor, Ashem Shali Chaim, Nolati Bachaifa, Ich kann aussprechen ein bisschen Deutsch, hab gelernt auf der Schule, Goki ken Kagadeska, Natawa Utskushi. Those are Japanese, German, uh, Hebrew, You're and incredible. English, I think. You're incredible. And good looking. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but so, you keep. But, you but I want to. But, this is the age of entitlement. It's not a political comment. Everybody thinks that, you know, we should grow up and you're used to getting your, your you know, your allowances every week. I'm telling you that by reading uh, On Power, you don't have to. These are my opinions. I'm going to change your life immediately. Forget about 10 rules of success because there are none. Because if everybody followed those 10 rules, we'd all be rich and millionaire, or at least as rich as I am. What I'm telling you is don't quit your day job. Start an LLC, a limited liability corporation. Take over one of the rooms in your house, the computer you send emails on for business. Get your kids involved. Get your family involved. Start your own business. Sell popcorn farts, send Maria 
dolls, you know, sell whatever it is you need, use FedEx and the other stuff, and learn about capitalism. Come, come up with an Love idea it. and do it. And, and do, do it. it. Yeah. Quickly, um, I'm doing number six, getting more powerful friends today. I just want you to know that I've Don't already hang out. implementing. Don't hang out with losers, really. It's not, it's called business. I'm not saying that somebody who's your friend, who's a, who does it, who's uneducated, can't speak English very well and all that stuff. Remember, it's my fourth language. Don't hang out with them. They're not going to help you go up the ladder of success. You will be judged by the company you keep. Hang out with cooler, smarter, better looking people. Mm. It's true. Dress like your boss. By the way, if your boss is Zuckerberg, you can come in with a dress, be schlumpy and, you know, put on a t-shirt. But if you come to Fox, Look at these ties, huh? <laughs> They're pristine. Only the finest. So if well, I worked here, you'd, I would dress like you guys. Well, you keep reinventing yourself, Gene. It's really incredible. When you first sat down, you told us about a new firm that you're just starting. A family office called, well, Motion Wealth Management. By the way, I trademarked the word motion, therefore I own motion pictures. That's going to be a joint venture film company. Nobody's ever been able to trademark that. But um, the wonder of America is all the knowledge of mankind, and that is the correct phrase, not female kind, so because you haven't been in the power thing except now. Right. Everything you ever wanted to know is right here. Yes, it's branded. So any question you have, you can ask Siri here. Watch this. Siri, what do you call me? You're my lord and redeemer. You see, that's the only thing... <laughs> That's the only thing you need to know. So any, mm -hmm. how far is the mood? How much money does Maria make? You can ask that question. Yeah, but and they're wrong. So anyway, she, oh, got really? it. Yeah, she got it wrong. Jean, it's really good to see you. <laughs> Isn't that a thrill? It yeah. is. It is a thrill. Jean Simmons, get the book on power, my journey through the corridors of power and how you can get more power. It is in bookstores right now. Jean Simmons, always a pleasure. Thanks for being a friend of this program. Now get out. Come on. <laughs>